So last week, uh, Emma, my wife, decided um, to lay her brand new bike down on the floor outside the dealers. Um, and unfortunately, snap the brake lever. So just a real quick video. She won't move in actually, she won't hurt, joking aside. Um, but it, yeah, it happened so slowly. Just basically went to set off, stalled the bike, and then bike started going over. Um, and that was it. She did, she did a good job. Um, of laying it down in a controlled manner. I've done it, I'm, we've all done it. It's an easy, easy thing to do to lay a bike down. Just gutted really, because it's obviously brand new. Um, the brake lever didn't actually snap. Um, it was bent, bent forward. So we got it home, heated the lever up, started bending it back and the inevitable happened it snapped so anyway i got got uh, a replacement that's just arrived today so i'm just going to show you guys what you need to install a new brake lever if you've been unfortunate enough to lay your bike down um and uh, oh yeah i forgot to mention there's she there's a bit of a scratch on the bronze colored casing so if anybody knows the exact color match for the bronze color on the brand new cb 650r Drop us a comment below and just let me know because uh, it's only a minor scratch, about an inch long. But uh, I'd like to get the match for the for the paint and uh, just touch that up for her. So just a real quick video, I'm just going to show you what uh, tools are required to um, to swap out the damaged lever with a new one. So these are the tools required. You just need a flathead screwdriver, a ratchet with a 10 mil socket and obviously your new shiny new brake lever. These were just short of 50 pounds UK so about 65 US dollars um, from the local dealer. I just could not justify spending that type of money. I had a quick look on eBay and found uh, another brand can't read that. I don't have my glasses on, but it's uh, it's a it's a replica. It's made of the same same material, and that was fifteen pounds. So big saving. And if you are going to lay your bike down, you don't want to be paying 50 fifty pounds for a, a brake lever. There's you know there's nothing nothing to these. So have a look on eBay. Honda CB six fifty R brake lever about fourteen or fifteen UK pounds. So that's tools required to do the install. Let's uh, crack on with it. Right then, so let's get the old damaged lever off. Oh, it's going to be one of them nights. I've come in here with um, flip flops on as well. Oh. I don't think there was a washer there. Right, so that's the nuts off. And then that should, should just push out. Let me just, oh, hang on. Oh right, my apologies. It don't push out. Right, there's a little uh, connecting piece here, so unscrew that. Hey, we're all learning together here. We're all learning together. Shut sure up. Has anyone else got a dog that just barks? I love him to bits, but he just barks non-stop. Right, nearly off. That's that out. And then, as easy as that. That's the uh, the damaged piece. So yeah, 
bit, well, I was a little bit gutted really, but yeah, I tried bending this back and it just snapped. Happy days, right. That's the old one off, let's get the new one installed. Right, so I've just put a little bit of uh, grease on the un underside there. I've set the uh, adjustment there to th uh, three. So that's what the old label was on. So I'll put that, that one to three. And then just the reverse of what we've done there. And we should be good to go. And I can confirm the um, genuine Honda one, which is on the left and that was on the right. The um, aftermarket part that, that I purchased for £15 is exactly the same. Looks the same. Feels the same, etc. etc. Right, that's it. So, give that a little nip up. Don't want to over tighten that, it wants to be tight enough. But not uh, not too tight. Perfecto. That's it. Installed. Five minute job. Easy as that. Ten mil ratchet or adjustable spanner. Flathead screwdriver and your new part. But yeah, rest in peace. That lasted two weeks. Anyway, it's all done now. Emma will be happy. But as easy as that, quick, quick install. I'll just uh, quickly show you the other damage. There's a slight scuff here. So there's a bit of black there. That's not a problem. So if anybody knows the, the paint code for this Honda bronze, uh, just needs to flatten down that with a bit of uh, wet and dry sandpaper and then touching up. But uh, she really did get away with this. There was that, uh, that bit there, obviously the brake lever, and a slight, slight scuff here. So she's uh, she's done very well to get away with that. She was absolutely gutted. Obviously the bike's brand new in this magnificent silver color. Looks absolutely stunning. So yeah, that's it guys, um, going to do a video on my CB1000, I'm going to do a bit of a, a walk around video, a bit of a, a POV video with uh, with me riding the bike, it's absolutely stunning this, I did have a, a CB650 and um, upgraded to the CB1000 which is an absolute monster. Trust me, that's a beast of a bike. Excuse the uh, crazy dog. I've got my dog outside barking. Always does this. Um, decide to come and do a quick video for you guys in the garage. And as soon as I do and shut the garage door, the dog starts barking at people walking past. It drives me absolutely crazy. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope that video has helped. If you've dropped your bike recently and you're a little bit unsure, uh, rather than take it to the main dealers and paying probably £80 to replace that, I mean, it's £50 for the part, uh, maybe another £20, £30 of labour, do it yourself. It's a quick, quick five-minute job. You cannot go wrong. You just need some basic tools. So thanks for watching. Anybody who knows the code for the bronze pin on the engine casing, give us a comment below like the video, subscribe to the channel, we are still new, um, and uh, look out for all the next videos that are coming, hopefully, this thing behind us, the CB1000R, catch you all soon.